Google is collecting health data, and it wants to digitize tissue samples from soldiers, both dead and alive. Welcome to America Uncovered, I'm Chris Chappell. So it's no secret that Google constantly collects and sells data. It's how they keep doing business. They collect data about everything, such as your location, what websites you visit, and what you did last summer. Yes, Google knows about that. That's why you've been getting targeted ads for funeral arrangements. Google also has its eyes on the health industry. Back in 2008, Google offered a free web-based personal health record service. Google has also sought to offer data management services for healthcare systems, make access to user health data easier for app developers, and commercialize artificial intelligence to detect diseases. As if the healthcare industry wasn't cold and sterile enough, now they want robots to tell you you'll need to start drinking cranberry juice. But Google hasn't always been transparent about how it collects and uses such sensitive data. For example, in 2017, UK regulators reprimanded a hospital for providing the data of more than 1.6 million patients to Google's AI unit, DeepMind, because the hospital didn't properly inform the patients. In 2019, Google's Project Nightingale gathered personal health information on millions of Americans through Ascension, one of the largest US healthcare systems. The data involved in the initiative encompasses lab results, doctor diagnosis, and hospitalization records, including patient names and dates of birth, without notification to patients and doctors. Google's collecting our healthcare records? I don't want them or anyone else finding out that I didn't grow this beard naturally. It was actually a mink fur transplant surgery. That's why it's so silky and luxurious. Google's well on its way to making itself integral to the entire healthcare system and accessing all that sweet, sweet data. But there's one source of information that Google doesn't have access to. Tissue data from the Joint Pathology Center. Or should I say, doesn't have yet. Information Google doesn't have is like food in front of a dog. The second your guard is down, they're going to gobble it up. Emails, memos, and interviews accessed by an investigative journalist for ProPublica found that Google is on a quest to digitize troops' tissue samples stored in the Joint Pathology Center. The Joint Pathology Center is the world's largest collection of human pathology specimens, dating back to 1862 during the American Civil War. For over 160 years, the U.S. military has been collecting and cataloging tissue samples from armed service members to identify, study, and counter illnesses. And maybe one day, clone soldiers to stage the ultimate Civil War reenactment. This has been vital for major scientific research, the most notable example being the first genetic sequencing of the 1918 influenza, which killed more soldiers than actual combat. Take that, Germany. You're not even as scary as a sneeze. Over the past century, the center has collected more than 55 million glass slides, 31 million tissue blocks, and over 500,000 wet tissue samples. Some of them contain diseases so rare most pathologists have never seen them. The collection has been called a national treasure. Can't wait for the Nicolas Cage movie where he steals wet tissue samples and decodes a hidden message written on the back of them. That wouldn't even make the top 10 of weird Nicolas Cage movies. This type of information could help create new medicine and tools for treating diseases like cancer. But Google's pursuit of this collection worries military officials. I'll explain after the break. Welcome back. Google wants health data, and what better resource is there than the Joint Pathology Center? It has millions of tissue samples from soldiers since the 19th century. Perfect for the algorithm. According to ProPublica, Google began its courtship of the Joint Pathology Center in December 2015 through Lieutenant Commander Niels Olsen. Darn, I was hoping for a much better meet cute like they met at a coffee shop or something. It gives us hope that it could happen to us, too. 
Olson emailed the center with an eight-page proposal from Google offering to start the operation by training algorithms with already digitized data in the repository. And it would do this early work with no exchange of funds. Now Google wasn't doing this for free out of the goodness of their hearts. Not taking money meant that Google wouldn't have to bid for a government contract against competitors. And of course, they didn't want any of their competitors knowing about this. Olson warned that the proposal was under a non-disclosure agreement with Google. According to him, the chief concern was keeping this out of the press. I feel much better knowing that a data-hungry tech giant like Google wants to be so transparent. If someone that early in a relationship says they want to be exclusive and keep things on the down low, they're for sure married. Google's proposal raised red flags for senior staff at the Pathology Center. Despite this, then-director of the Joint Pathology Center, Clayton Simon, was intrigued enough to invite Google to tour the facility. Following the tour, a Google scientist prepared a list of clinical, demographic, and patient information it sought from the repository. The list included must-haves, case diagnoses, pathology, and radiology images, information on gender and ethnicity, and birth and death dates, as well as high-value patient information, including comorbidities, subsequent hospitalizations, and cause of death. That's very specific. If someone is asking you for all that info on a first date, they've for sure already been stalking you for months. Man, this meat is getting less cute the more I find out about it. Senior military and civilian staff at the center were alarmed, including the head of the archive's tissue operations. They felt very concerned about giving too much information to Google because too much data could identify the patient. But who cares about all that when you can make tons of money? I mean, make medicine. It wasn't just privacy concerns that bothered the Joint Pathology Center. Some were concerned that Google would upend the center's own project to digitize its collection. There were also concerns about Google pushing for an unfair deal. In exchange for scanning and digitizing the slide collection at its own expense, Google sought exclusive access to the data for at least four years. Google also required that it be able to charge the government to store and access the digitized information. Please, please give us access to your information and pay us for it. Man, they won't even pick up the tab. This is officially the worst first date in history. Ultimately, talks between the Joint Pathology Center and Google dropped in 2017, but that doesn't mean Google gave up that easily. Bro, she's just not that into you. Let it go, Google. In 2021, the Pathology Center tapped two small technology companies and Johns Hopkins to digitize its tissue bank. Google wasn't one of them. So it went straight to the Pentagon, complaining that it was unfairly excluded from full and open competition. This is like getting dumped, then when your ex has a new boyfriend, you complain to her parents about it. Only instead of it being your ex, it was someone you went on one date with four years ago. Man, I'm starting to think the company that wants to harvest dead soldier tissues might be a bit creepy. In that August 2021 letter, Google argued that the nation's security was at stake and that the DOD needs to consider Google Cloud to ensure the nation's ability to compete with China in biotechnology. Yes, I can totally see how Google cares about U.S. interests against China's. Google has also been reaching out to Congress through the Roosevelt Group, a lobbying firm, and it seems to be paying off. In the text for the Defense Authorization Act, the House Armed Services Committee raised doubts about the Joint Pathology Center's current digitization efforts, fearing that it wouldn't be swift enough to digitize deteriorating slides. That would really spoil that ultimate Civil War reenactment. By the way, this is the same kind of warning Google has made in its letter to the Pentagon. Thanks to Google's advocacy, the Defense Authorization Act directs the Secretary of Defense to provide a briefing about the Joint Pathology Center's digitization efforts to the House's Armed Services Committee no later than April next year. For those of you who are worried about Google using Congress to get its hands on soldiers' tissue data, don't worry, I totally trust Google having America's best interests at heart. Google will keep its data secure, especially from authoritarians like China. Google definitely won't commercialize such valuable data to the wrong hands, right? Ah. 
I'm starting to think that none of our medical secrets are going to be that secret anymore. So what do you think? Leave your comments below. And if you like the show, remember that we rely mainly on direct support from viewers like you. All it takes is as little as a dollar per episode over on our crowdfunding website, Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash America Uncovered for more. Click the link below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.